Karina and I drink for a living. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. When it comes to wine vocabulary, good and bad are sometimes not enough. So without getting too serious about it, I've put together five words that absolutely must be part of the essential wine glossary. Vintage. Vintage is the year that's printed on the label. It refers to the year that the grapes that are used in making this wine were harvested. A good vintage or a bad vintage depends on the climatic conditions of that year. Most wines are made from grapes that were harvested in a single year and not from a blend of years. Which is why if the bottle has a vintage on it, does not necessarily mean it's a good wine. Although this one really is. And remember it's pronounced vintage, not vintage or vintage. Tannin. Apart from wine, tannins naturally occur in tea. It's what causes that slight bitterness, the puckering of lips and the drying of the mouth. Tannins come from the stalks, the seeds and the skin of red grapes. It also comes from the oak barrel in which the wine has been aged. So what makes a tannin so important? Tannins bring structure to a wine and they help it age. As the wine ages, the tannins become softer and give it a more rounded feel. Rosé. Despite what it may look like, rosés aren't made from a blend of red and white wine. Typically, rosés are made from red grapes and it's the skin that imparts colour to the wine. Depending on the hue that the winemaker wants, he or she will keep the skins in contact with the wine and then remove them. And no, rosés aren't just for the ladies. Variety. Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, all of these are wine varieties. The more you try, you will find a liking for one over the other. It's just a matter of preference. There's no one varietal that's better or worse than the other. Terroir. Terroir is a loaded term that gives you a sense of place from where the wine comes. It includes factors that we can't control like sunshine, soil, climate and also those that we can, like winemaking tradition. Together, all of this impacts a wine and gives it that uniqueness that then defines a wine's terroir. But don't be too obsessed with it or you'll be labelled a terroirist. In the wine world, that's a really good joke. I promise.